come back to the final stage of the making of the car cake um, as you can see we have done most of the cake we want to replace this section with the black piece to represent the window and the way how I use to represent that is by using the brush with a little water and go around the edges of this section and by putting the paper on it it gives me the mark of the shape that I need to cut so that in that case we are creating a stencil so there and then now if I cut the stencil in that shape I get the shape of that part of the cake that I want to replace so for me that's one of the easier way of finding the shape and replacing the shape by putting it back there I, yeah we're gonna replace this section as suggested so I've created the stencil and what I just barely need to do tools are important we've got most of the main tools to help to mold the, the, the shape that you want so I need to remove this piece from the cake so we just slightly cut it try just to cut the top layer and not the, the other piece at the bottom which is the marzipan we only need to remove this blue layer once you remove that layer we'll be able to section from this. there it oh. exposes the previous layer which was the the marzipan that we used to cover the cake one it does it retains the moisture in the cake and it protects the outer layer of the cake from being um, damaged like the wine or the the color sneaks through so if you do a white cake it protects it and keep it white what I'm gonna do is cut the section here to replace that section that we cut out and you can cut it a little bit bigger than sometimes the size which is required because three quarter of the time it will just fit in or you can just because it's almond paste now what we do we just simply do like this and we can work it into the space that's needed it's flexible so even it's best it's a little bit bigger than smaller And it's just like that what we'll have to do now is smooth up the edges and again it comes back to tool we I would normally use this one it gives it an edging where it binds it to the You have other tools that you can use. You've got that one that you can use also. So whatever is required. What this helps to do is smoothen the edges, but also kind of combine it with the other layer that's there. things you can do to it um, what we'll do to get rid of the oh the excess icing sugar 
these are just the techniques using the again the paint brush or the brushes that you've got rub your fingers along the line to kind of bring it to the same level okay and there we go now the color is complete with all the different sections all the little um, thing the logo the plates the lights the review mirror the doorknobs you know at the back you have the tailpipe the license plate you know even the, the the brand of the car on it the rims has you know the tires and the rims so there we go ladies and gentlemen only thing is left is for us to brush the entire clay we can brush it or you can spray it with glare spray if you've got it that will complete the car and let it look shiny let it it has a reflective look similar to a real car but unfortunately i've got any of the glaze spray so what i'm going to do is just brush it to kind of clean it up and whatever 